Yeah, buddy, got halfway into this five mile run. Today's video is a photo vlog. We're going to a small town. We're talking photography. There's a lot of stuff in today's video. Don't know what the title's gonna be, but it'll probably be like at some point in the video, we'll talk about it. Maybe I'll throw a timestamp right here. Let's get to it. YouTube, what is good? So you remember a couple weeks ago, we went to this small town in North Georgia. Well, technically East Georgia, called Covington. I brought a disposable camera out there. We made some photos. That place exceeded all expectations I had for that video. That location was dope. So today we are going back. We're bringing the Leica Q because I regretted not having a digital camera with me when I went out there the first time. We're gonna see what type of small town photography we can make. It's gonna be awesome. We got some other stuff to do today as well, some other stuff to talk about. It's gonna be an old school photo vlog on the channel. So if you're watching today's video thinking, yo, this video looks a little different, that is because I'm using the Atmos Ninja 5 today. I'm trying to record the entire vlog in N-Log, which is something I typically do not do, but I wanna use today's video as a chance for me to practice some video making skills, some things I wanna try out in color grading. So if you're watching this video and it looks like shit, it means I did not do my job very well. Alright, we have made it to old Covington, Georgia. The fruit stand that I wanted to come back to photograph is over there. It looks like it's bumping. We're gonna make some good photos. It's gonna be a good one. Yo, one other thing too, before we get out to start these photos, if you like videos like this one, do me a solid, hit that thumbs up button. There we go, got my fruit stand shots. Love the colors over there, love the color of the fruit, the blue building, just everything about it looks awesome. Am I in focus? All right, we're good. I keep going back and forth with myself. Do I use a polarizer or not? Polarizer, no polarizer. Here's the thing, I like this natural sky we have right now, and I don't wanna put the polarizer on and get that crazy over the top blue, but then I kinda do. Do I want it? Do I not want it? Polarizer, no polarizer? I, I don't know. So when it comes to photography, y'all have heard me talk a lot about the why. Asking yourself, why are you making this photo? What are you gonna do with this image? What's your motivation? And because of the pandemic and what's happening this year, I've really had to rethink my strategy and rethink this advice of why. Maybe you don't really need a reason other than because you want to, because you want to be creative, because it makes you feel good, because it's fun. And I've, I don't know, I've just kind of had to reshift my thought process on why I'm making photography and what I'm really doing this for because we're in the middle of an unprecedented situation. I have to make the best of what I have here in front of me and around me and I still want to be creative. So because of that, maybe my motivation right now is just doing it because I love it and because I want to and I want to make the best things possible and challenge myself. I don't know if that's making sense, I'm kind of just rambling, but I've had to change my approach a little bit the last few months and take some pressure off myself and say, hey, today we're gonna go out to a small town and just make photos because that's what I wanna do today. Challenge for any of you creatives out there who are struggling with this pandemic, struggling with your motivation to make photography, you're not sure what you wanna shoot, just take that step out your front door with your camera and go create. That is the hardest step, I'm telling y'all. I don't know what it is for me. I'll sit on the couch, I'll sit in my office, I'll work on something else and say, you know, I'll just get out to shoot tomorrow. I'll make photos tomorrow. I don't have any ideas today. I don't know what I wanna create. But the minute I step out that door, the minute I get in my car with my camera, the creative juices get flowing and I end up making something that I'm proud of, something I'm happy with, I feel good about myself. Do that. That's my challenge to you.
my mission complete. Got myself a cup of coffee to celebrate. Definitely a fun day of photography. Gluten-free chocolate chip cookie to go with it. Let's see how is this thing. Honestly, I was expecting more. We're gonna go 4.9 out of 10 on that. But today was an awesome day. I tell you what though, every time I use this Q, I am closer and closer to getting an M or something that I can put a 50 on. I love 28, but today there were a lot of compositions where I was thinking to myself, yo, if only I had a 50, if this was a little bit tighter, it could be a little bit more perfect. But today was still fun, did a lot with reflections, tried a bunch of ideas, and I think it went really well. I'm glad we came back here. So I'm currently posted up outside of the Costco because I'm getting this photo right here printed. Now this might be on my Instagram by the time this video goes live, but I'm not sure. This is of my wife, Katie. It was a photo we made maybe like a week ago, last Sunday, probably like three more minutes and this thing will be ready. Something I wanted to talk about with y'all today because I brought up the Leica M is what makes a camera the best camera. Now I was giving this some thought over the weekend because I did a shoot and it's my favorite type of photo shoot where I just drove there, no camera bag, one camera, one lens. And the photos we made, they were great. I'm actually about to edit them shortly. And then today's an example of it. I brought one camera, one lens. Over the weekend, the photos that I made that I just got printed, the ones that I posted on my Twitter, those were all made one camera, one lens. And the thing that all those photos have in common is I enjoyed making them. The tool that I was using made me want to create something. And back to what we were talking about earlier, this whole thing kind of like works together. Right now, you don't want any resistance when it comes to creating because we have enough of it. So the reason I love this camera so much is because it actually makes me want to make something. And that's the reason I'm contemplating getting the Leica M or another Leica is because I love this form factor so much, it makes me want to use the camera. The camera itself inspires me to create. And I think that is actually what makes the camera the best for you. It's not about image quality, it's not about what you can do with it, it's not about the lens selection, it's about the tool that inspires you to actually create. If you can find something that does that, that's the best camera for you, hands down. So just wanted to talk about that today because it was on my mind because you get asked all the time, what's the best camera, what's the best camera? And I think the real answer is just that. The best camera is the one that inspires you to actually make things and make you want to get out and create something cool, something that you're proud of. So let me show you this print. All right, this thing came out pretty dope. There's a few problems with the print here. Obviously it's Costco, so I'm not expecting the greatest thing in the world, but it's almost like it was uh, running out of ink or something when they did it. But y'all know why I do these test prints if you've never heard me talk about this before. Going to Costco, getting you know a cheaper frame, a cheaper print, gives you an idea of kind of how it's gonna look before you either professionally print it yourself or send it out to be printed. It's kind of like a proof, but I really like this one. But the photo I need to print that I'm gonna do a test print for is that glass mirror photo at the beginning of today's episode. That thing was crazy. All I need is about 100 more photo days like this episode, and I might have a photo book on my hands, but I had a lot of fun. Those two reflection photos in there, heat absolute heat love the composition the color everything about them is really dope especially that first one that thing is so on point it's unreal but it's funny i'm re-recording this outro because i kind of got on a topic that i didn't really think was relevant and then i started editing the video and i realized yo this is so relevant for right now at the time this video is going to come out basically today leica announced their m10r which looks absolutely ridiculous sony announced their a7 3 million. I can't even keep up with all of Sony's names. I don't know. I think it's the A7 3S. Is that the name? Canon announced their Canon R5 and then their other one, R6 or whatever it's called. All these cameras are ridiculous. The technology is crazy. The Sony and Canon ones get up to 8K video. They have these ridiculous specs. But at the end of the day, it all goes back to what I just talked about earlier in today's episode. If it's not going to be a tool that you like using, do not bother 
getting it. Do not get sucked into the hype. There is no reason for it. Remember when I picked up this Nikon D780 earlier this year? A lot of people thought I was crazy because it's a DSLR camera. Why would I buy a DSLR? Because I knew I was going to use it and today I filmed this video using the technology that it has and it really wasn't that bad for me to film. I'm actually considering making a lot more videos in 10-bit like this because the experience wasn't that bad. I enjoyed it and I can't say the same if I was using some of these other cameras out there that I don't enjoy using. Even though the specs might be better, even though they can do more, if I don't want to pick up the tool to use it, what's the point in having it? But I'll tell you what, that Leica M10R, whoo, that thing looks crazy. I, uh, I'm going to be thinking about that thing quite a bit. Considering I'm in the market for an M10, potentially that might be the way I go and then I won't have to buy another camera for a very, 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 very long time. But that's it for today's episode. That's what I wanted to talk about. A little bit of camera talk at the end. Let me know in the comments, are there any cameras coming out that you're actually excited about that you know you're going to use, that you want to use? Love to hear your thoughts on this whole thing. I think for me, M10R is what I'm most excited about. Potentially, SL2 by Leica. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, catch you on next time.